Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is episode 4 of the series of 30 uh, days of one video per day. We are going to talk about a topic that was raised by EDFPV on the second video of this series actually. In this video we could see that I was holding my quad and EZFPV noticed that I run reversed props. So that's what we're going to talk about today. As you can see I'm still at work. Uh, Snake is still building some uh, apex in the corner. Actually I'm gonna use you. Can I? That's what you do. Ugh. This is heavy. <laughs> your face is heavy. <laughs> Alright, let me focus on your face. Done. Wow, that's such a good framing. <laughs> For the record, when you there's something that it, it irritates me when you, when you say let's get started. I don't know why. <laughs> what should I say? Trigger, I don't know, but it just triggers me. Let's let's dive into it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's all right. So what am I supposed to be talking about? Props Dude. spinning the way that they don't normally spin. Yes. Well, for the first couple of years, I flew normal props in. Props in means that your props spin that way, this way, if I'm, it's not fast enough. And I tried a while back, tried reversing them so they spin that way. It doesn't change the flight characteristics so much so far as I can tell. And I'm pretty confident in saying then that it doesn't change them because I'm pretty sensitive to changing anything, particularly on my own quads. Um, what it does do is it stops you from getting so much stuff on your lens. And it also, especially in Australia, reduces the chances of you getting stuck in a tree because it doesn't grab when it comes into a thing. It just throws the branches away rather than grabbing onto it. And since then, maybe one in 20 times I'll have to climb the tree to get my quad out, which in Australia is the, quite an improvement. Yeah, definitely. We have the worst trees ever for getting stuck in trees. So long story short, props reversed is better and there's no downside, so just do it. Some people complain that your flight controller is going to get dirty, but yeah. it doesn't matter. Like it literally doesn't matter and it does matter if your camera gets dirty, so whatever. Let's if, do it. Can I plug your, your quad to show on case? Would just need to be ticked. Yes. Yeah. Have you got a thing that it plugs into? No, it's <laughs> no. all right. I've got one. Relax. <laughs> so are you going to do it or am I going to do it? No, I'm going to do it. Okay. You should say that the principle is the same. Every time I make a video talking about fly controller settings and software, mm -hmm. people cry that I haven't spoken about the specifics, like how it relates to beta flight. Yeah. I don't know anything about beta flight. Go and watch Joshua Bardwell's channel. I yeah. bet, in fact, I'm sure he's got a video talking about reverse yeah. props. And it's always the same principle. Kiss GUI out of date. So this is the first tab, advanced. Mm -hmm. Then over here, reverse prop direction. All right, okay. Ooh, this is an effort. Yeah, so this one here. The next thing you need to do, obviously, is actually like physically change the direction of the motors. Yeah. Um, a lot of people do this by changing it in the software, but I've never seen that work very well, not mm. reliably over a long period of time. So yeah. as backward or as uh, old school as it seems, I just change it with um, by soldering the yes. wires. So you cross just, wires. Just cross two wires. Yeah. I don't even have to do that anymore because I'm so used to building. I always build the same quads with the same motors and everything so I know which way to wire them from the, from the start. But yeah. Yeah, it's still crossed wires. So, yeah. so you're I just find that's the most because you know if you firmware flash your hardware or something, sometimes it changes things back, or you can get a glitch and it changes. Like mm -hmm. we've seen that happen to people a couple of times. So yeah. um, this is the most bulletproof way of doing it, and yeah. that's 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 always the way I set my quads up to just make them reliable. So. Yeah. So so for very beginners, in case they're watching, you solder all your wires straight to the ESCs first. Yeah. Then they'll all be spinning the same direction. Mm -hmm. And then you figure out which two you need to reverse and mm -hmm. you just swap two wires on those two motors. Yep. Done. Done. Thanks for this. Ooh, do you want to hold that for us? <laughs> Alright guys, I think you're too close. <laughs> okay, so that's it for the fourth video. Tomorrow it's Saturday. We're actually working, right? Yep. Uh, so I might vlog this or I might do something else. I don't know yet. I never know. But um, thanks for watching. If you have more questions, feel free to ask in the comments because it's helping me like uh, Easy FPV did. Um, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.